Ever wondered why those Premier League footballers, recently arrested on suspicion of a serious offense, remain nameless? Is it some sort of secret society rule or a hidden clause in their million pound contracts? Well, no. It's neither a conspiracy nor a protection scheme. It's the law, yes, the law in the United Kingdom. This law, mind you, isn't a special provision for the rich and famous. It applies to everyone, from your local postman to the superstar footballer. It states that individuals arrested on suspicion of a crime cannot be named publicly until they are formally charged. A distinction as clear as the difference between a penalty kick and a free kick. This legislation exists to protect the privacy of the accused and to prevent defamation. It's like a legal offside line, if you will. Cross it and you could be in trouble. Even social media savants can be sued for libel if they name an accused individual. Moreover, victims of certain offenses, such as sexual assault, are granted lifelong anonymity. It's a kind of protective wall, stronger than the most formidable defense on the pitch. Now, to summarize, remember two key things. One, an individual arrested on suspicion of a crime in the UK cannot be named until formally charged. Two, the principle of innocent until proven guilty is upheld by not allowing preemptive naming and shaming. In a nutshell, it's all about fair play, both on and off the pitch. Just as a referee would not call a foul without clear evidence, the law does not allow naming an accused without a formal charge. So, the next time you come across an unnamed individual involved in a legal tussle, remember, it's not about who they are, but about what the law is. It's not a game of whispers, it's a matter of justice. And in this game, the rule of law is the ultimate referee.